This is Kokaiji Jidame Station on the Tokyo Metro Manauchi Line. I'm going to get on this red train and head for Shinjuku. It's nice to see a new type of train. There are power outlets at the end of each car on this new train. This is very useful when you don't have enough charge left for your phone. I have arrived at Shinjuku Sankom Station. I would like to go through the underground passage now. After exiting the ticket gate, I headed towards Junior Shinjuku Station. Shinjuku and other areas in central Tokyo are often connected to stations and commercial facilities by underground passageways. However, the underground passageways are like a huge maze and complicated. Don't lose sight of the directions to the exit you are aiming for. After going up the escalators, we came out right in front of Junior Shinjuku Station. In front of Shinjuku Station is a busy road called Koshu Kaido. To the left is a commercial building called Ni Woman. This is where we will be departing from today. Basta Shinjuku. Basta Shinjuku is a bus terminal for express buses connecting various cities in Japan. It was opened in 2016. The third floor is the bus drop-off point and cab stand. The fourth floor above this is the bus terminal. There are many people waiting for the bus to depart. I'm meeting up with my lovely travel companion here. As I walked outdoors, I saw a row of bus stops, all organized by direction and operator. There are many express buses departing from here, and they come and go incessantly. The bus that just arrived was a double-decker, bound for Kyoto and Nara. I would like to take one someday. So, let's get on the express bus and head for our destination. On the way, there will be a restroom break at a service area on the expressway. This time, we headed to Toyama. Toyama Prefecture is a part of the Chubu region of Japan, blessed with natural resources such as the alpine route, valleys, hot springs, and fishing ports. It takes only two hours from Tokyo to get there by Hokuriku Shinkansen. Today, I'd like to introduce you to Toyama Regional Railway, which is familiar to the locals here in Toyama Prefecture as a commuter and lifestyle line, as well as an access route for sightseeing spots. Toyama Regional Railroad has been known by the nickname Chitetsu for many years. It is also divided into two types of railroads, streetcars that run in the city, and railroads that provide medium distance transportation within the prefecture. There are three railroad lines. The first is the main line connecting Anazuki Onsen, one of the most famous hot spring resorts in Toyama Prefecture. The second is the Tateyama line, which connects to the entrance of the Tateyama Kurobe Alpine route. The third is the Fujikoshi Kamidaki line, named after a local manufacturer. Here is a seat on a regular train. They were soft and comfortable, and I didn't get tired even after riding for over an hour. There are different ways to get on the train at stations with and without station staff. If you can buy a ticket to your destination in advance, you won't get lost. If there is no station attendant and you cannot buy a ticket, just get on the train. When you get on the train, take a numbered ticket near the door. When the name of the station you want to get off at is announced, check the fare on the fare display. You can pay the fare when you get off the train. Railroad cars are often acquired from other companies, and this car was originally run by Tokyo Corporation. This car was introduced in 1979, the 50th anniversary of Toyama Regional Railroad, as the company's first air-conditioned car. 
It's amazing that it's been in service for over 40 years. Oh, it suddenly braked and stopped. And the driver came out of the door. I wondered if there was some kind of trouble. Actually, I had to switch the points manually. It's only on a local train that you can see this scene. Various head marks are displayed at Toy Armor Station. These head marks show the nicknames of express trains that were once active and the destinations of the trains. Today, I would like to introduce you to the Alps Express, which is still active as a sightseeing express train. The cabin of the Alps Express is filled with warmth and a sense of luxury, with an interior richly decorated with wood. Another feature of the train is that the seats are turned sideways so that you can enjoy the train windows. This car has actually been modified. These stickers are proof of that. Originally, it was used by Saibu Railways as the Red Arrow Limited Express until 1995. It was loved for many years, and its former paint job was reproduced on the newer cars after its retirement. This train is now living a second life in a different land, Toy Armor. The train is now slowly crossing the Juganji River. The Juganji River is a first-class river flowing through Toy Armor Prefecture. The river has been flooded frequently since ancient times, so its name comes from the coastal residents' feeling of always hoping that there will be no flooding. The video shows the departure from Namurikawa Station. The line running over there was originally the Japan Railway Hokuriku Main Line. But with the opening of the Shinkansen, it became the third sector, Ainoka's Toy Armor Railway. A peaceful countryside view from the car window. Fortunately, it was a sunny day when I took this picture, and it was very pleasant. Soon the train will arrive at Kamaiichi Station. The train is bound for Tateyama. It will go further and further. Oh, it's going backwards. Is the train in a bad mood? Actually, Kamaichi Station has a switchback structure. No matter which direction you go, you have to turn around and go forward. The train will soon arrive at Terada Station. In fact, it will be moving in an unusual way at Terada Station, so let's take a look.
The train had already left the station, but now it was changing direction. What does this mean? And soon the train stopped. Actually, the structure of Terada station is as shown in the picture. It is divided into three directions like a Y shape, so when a train changes direction, it will turn back past the station. Thus, the train can stop and get on and off at the same station twice. I missed the train. If this happens, don't worry, the train will come back. I hope you all enjoy the beautiful scenery and strange changes in direction on the Alps Express. The arm and camera you can't see is my partner, Denden. He is doing his best to take pictures. Now, for the last few minutes, I will show you the scene of the train running, along with the scenery along the line. This is the Juganji River, a spot close to Toyama Station and the city center. A train is slowly crossing the bridge now. The sound of the train crossing the bridge echoes throughout the area. This photo spot, coupled with the iconic scenery of Toyama Prefecture, makes it a very popular location. It was getting late in the evening. The train came through the gap between the residential areas. The Alps mountains stand in the background. It's quite an interesting scene. What do you think of the video so far? I'm sure it made you want to take a ride on the Toyama Regional Railroad. I would like to bring you more of Japan's charms, especially its railroads, so please keep looking forward to it. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching. Bye.